Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome to a new video. My name is Olga and today I will show you around our house, um, which is not ours anymore. We sold this house already and we're moving into our Edwardian beauty and by the time you watch this, we are already there. And before I start packing everything, I thought I will show you around, I'll give you a house tour and I will also have something to look back at when I'll be a little bit nostalgic. So we moved into this house in 2015. This was our first house and if you hear noises, we, my two daughters are here watching TV and you will see them later on when I go around the house. So we bought it in 2015. Me and my husband, we were not even married back then, we were, to get, we were together and we did a lot to the house. We gave it back like some character and it feels like homey and warm and it was a little bit more like left kind of out when we moved in and as I go through the rooms I will try and insert a picture from the advent advert when we saw the house before when it was put on the market and um, yeah I hope I'm not gonna get too emotional during this video because like I said we moved in here before we even got married our little Emilia came here after when she after she was born and we've got so many memories in here so without further ado let me just Okay, so this is our front entrance. We do have two doors and a little space in here but I added some mirrors and we have like a little shoe rack with all the shoes that we use um, often. So yeah, hi there. <laughs> and all of our like electrics and everything is here. Then we have this door which has like a little kind of window here and I did paint this door in like a light kind of grey colour and let me just go back again so we did change the flooring throughout the whole house there used to be I think it used to be laminate in here like the kind of cheap very white like light yellowish laminate they usually find and I love that we had this kind of paneling going around the corridor and also up the stairs in there. And here I added a shelf. This is from B and M. I think it was 9.99 because I was thinking I really wanted something in here. I wanted to cover this radiator, but if I would have put something, I was then going to be able to close the door. So yeah. And I have my perfume. This is just the one from Zara, which I kind of use every, every day when I go somewhere. And this is a mirror from Home Bargains. The very known mi mirror that everyone went crazy for. And in there we've got our thermostat. And I think I know the mirror is supposed to go on the wall, but I just put it there. It's very light. This is like a little plant pot that Emilia picked up from b and q i think and i've got my hat in there so oh let's just close this so hi me <laughs> but if you turn on this side i've got we've got a mirror that we attach to this door because it's great for uh just checking yourself before leaving anywhere and this is my tripod i'll move it a little bit out of the way so we can go here this is a little extension that was done before we moved in so everything was here already and excuse the mess i know it's full of stuff i didn't want to put stuff away because i am in the process of putting everything in the boxes okay so i switched on the lights so if you walk through here we use it as some like cupboards and utility area i've got we've got like a wardrobe here for the jackets you see it's overflowing this is an ikea billy bookcase for our shoes and my dryer is on that's what you can hear this is for the girls again overflowing i have to sort out for the shoes that they don't fit anymore on jackets as well this is just the bathroom cabinet that doesn't fit in our bathroom and moving on we've got the luggage that 
we were not gonna put it in the attic we just left it here because it's pointless we have to put everything back down again our chest freezer which is a lifesaver dryer washing machine uh, we bought the same wall units the one we have in the kitchen and we put it here it's stores our towels and everything but they're not as deep as the one in the kitchen and they're kind of pointless i wish we went for a deeper one because it doesn't hold as much stuff as i would like to and i've got my bags in here i know everything is a mess excuse the mess and walking through here uh, they used to be completely run down there used to be nothing on not there, were no, there wasn't even flooring in there and we decided to put a second toilet in the house so you can see we definitely needed a bigger house we ran out of space so we put another wardrobe in there and we have a mirror you need toilet sink everything you need and uh, this is a cool idea uh this is i think it's called toughest uh, they use it for toy storage in ikea and um, i use it for laundry and you can see it's written white black and girls to sort out the laundry and it's been a lifesaver this is great okay so walking down this way in here is our lounge and you will see the girls hi <laughs> <laughs> Today's playing puzzles and it's little Amy and this is our living room and let me just pose that hey the flooring again is the same as the one in the corridor we changed everything in here and from this size um, the door is still the same that it was with the house, so just painted. We have an IKEA lamp in here. This is like the kids section in the lounge. Yeah. <laughs> and I've got this print of AliExpress. They're just too cute. And in there, I've got their feet prints when they were babies. And I was going to put two photos of each in here, and then I never managed. Uh, this is the great kids toy storage i know it looks ugly uh, the girls will have their like playroom in the new house so this will be in their playroom uh how is it called i forgot how this unit is called it's from ikea and we've got the books in the toys we got our aquarium that doesn't have many fish in it the, um, we were learning like this is the first aquarium that we bought and something happened with the water and we lost a lot of fish and at the moment we still have few hey babies it's just so relaxing to Mommy. watch them they're so beautiful when we move to the new house then we will be able to buy more fish we kind of left it like this for now it will be easier to move and uh, we already bought big tanks big uh canisters don't even know how they're called to bring the water because water is perfect now and if you have an aquarium you know how hard it is to get the water to be like the perfect condition for the fish moving on we i've got the palms here i this plant i bought it from b and q um, three years ago i think and it definitely she needs a bigger pot and you can see the pot here is golden and on little feet i got it from tk max and uh, when we move i will have to br uh, put her in a bigger pot and add more soil in there then we got our tv unit let me just move this balloon away <laughs> so this tv unit i think it's Bauhaus is called it's on eBay we have a furniture that has a little bit defects uh, usually during transportation I mean it's a new furniture and I I don't know we didn't find any defects and you can bid on the furniture and get it for like very very cheap this is solid wood is very beautiful and I also got this basket um, hamper basket from home bargains they were in i think 250 to 99 during father's day and this holds the girls books 
and of course TV, soundbar, then I love a window in this room, it's a bay window, oh y'all, it's gone dark, it's a bay window, so big and beautiful, it makes this room brighter and I do have my plants in there, hey, <laughs> so got my orchid, we have a plant and there's another orchid in here and the curtains are from Ikea, I went for grey that time and um, I kind of don't like the grey anymore, I think I was just following the trends on YouTube and I got another plant, I bought two at the same time, so they are the same age, this was from the office and this is just a wall light. I think we got it off eBay. I like that we have all this. This is not original to the house. Um, I think it's more like, I think it's a styrofoam. They changed it. Uh, our coffee table is from Ikea. The tray is from TK Maxx. I got this rug and I was so happy with it. Now I kind of don't like it that much because of the colors but this one it was i think 450 on um, amazon but i found it on marketplace there was a guy with a warehouse selling lost in post items and i got it for 60 pounds new it was just lost in post and never arrived to whoever bought it but yeah 60 pounds comparing to 450 it was a bargain up there I have Emilia, this is baby Emilia on her newborn photo shoot, she's so little and I've got this chair I got off marketplace for five pounds and um, I use this whenever someone comes and we can have a conversation, we can sit on, this is our big sofa that you probably saw me trying to clean and make it look a little bit better but you can see it's stained and I show you these are just water stains nothing else I try to do my best to clean I don't know the fabric is just so bad that stains with water and I just can't make it look better this um, sofa is going to stay here because the previous owners of the house were moving in uh, left us their old sofas and we already ordered one that will take months before it arrives so this will be here the next um, owners of the house the one we're moving in they agreed to take it because they also ordered the sofa and uh, it's gonna take long to arrive so above the sofa we've got this big um, clock my husband bought this years ago, I don't really like it, it's very heavy and it doesn't work anymore. It's just there for decoration. And in here I've got a little shelf that I also have them in the kitchen. I got it from B&M and, and uh, it's got lots of stuff in it. It doesn't look good anymore because the girls mess them up and Emilia usually puts stuff in here that she doesn't want Taya to reach. So. This is how our living room looks like. So let's move on to the kitchen. So the kitchen, I already did a full kitchen tour. And I will leave it in the description box if you wanna have a look. And this is just how our kitchen looks like. We put a new kitchen in 2015 when we moved in because the kitchen was a mess. This was our biggest project. And then from the kitchen, we are walking to our conservatory. First, I want to warn you, excuse the mess. This is going to be the dumping ground of all the boxes and everything until we move. Okay, so push chairs. Yes, I do have three push chairs and I need all of them. Um, all the boxes that I need to fill in. <sighs> Bicycles. Yeah, we will put up a garage in the new house and we, because we need the storage <laughs> of the garage. And then we have our big garden. 
let me show you quickly the garden excuse me man these are all the toys the girls have been playing outside in here is like a little patio but we added some fake grass and this is great for the kids because whenever it rains and then the fake grass will dry very quickly and the girls can play in here and it's like kind of a mess free area i mean mess free uh, no mud <laughs> where you always toys and this is the ikea tent that we usually put the toys in and moving on it's the garden goes not over the back you can see we have, we have a shed in there the swing with a little plant planter that we made out of bed bed slots and um, the little kitchen for the kids out of the coffee table and this is like a little area that again the kids play we have our barbecue in there and the kids have a kitchen and the toys and yeah this is the garden it's quite a decent size uh, but the only thing that is annoying is that it goes down and it gets not away in there but it's a decent sized garden and we spend so much time in here okay so moving on upstairs we did change the carpet in here it's quite dark i wish we went for something lighter and i painted the walls this is the dolux paint i can't remember what's the name i have here like a little mirror this is so precious we like is very precious close to my heart this was hand drawn by my cousin that unfortunately passed because of cancer and it was his his uh, signi his signature and it's a portrait of emilia it was a present for emilia from him and we're moving on here let me just start from this angle um, we have a beautiful window well lights up the up of the landing and everything and i've got some photos that they never stay in place girls like to just stay here and mess up with the photos we just look at them this is from primark flowers are from home bargains and i painted it all white it used to be like a dark reddish kind of wood color and i painted white and everything looks just so much better and um, that's me and my husband on our wedding day and in here I had like a full all of them but they fell down and I just didn't put them back up again this is us at our wedding day so moving on so here let's go here first this is our bathroom upstairs again the bathroom had a full renovation <laughs> This is how it looks like. The, we had a corner bath in here. Everything was like blue. The shower is the same because it's built in. And we changed the bath, the toilet, and the sink. And this washing bas laundry basket, basket fits perfectly in there so I can close the door. We put a standing radiator here. It gives a lot of warmth. It doesn't take too much space. And I'll show you we've got a big window which i painted white again this is the toilet what i did in this bathroom is i painted the uh, tiles and i painted the tiles one and a half year ago yeah and i used the v30 i think it's called v33 from bnq paint i used to be all sorts of colors in here and i'm telling you the paint did miracles i didn't have to we didn't have to change the tires or anything and it just refreshed the bathroom it looks so much better and it didn't peel anywhere like nothing it looks exactly like the day i painted it i would definitely recommend if you want to um i don't know refresh your bathroom use tile paint and the one from B&Q, the V33, is perfect, is the best. This is what I'm going to do in the new house as well before we manage to get to the bathroom because bathroom is probably going to be the last room we fully renovate in the new house. But I will give it a makeover and paint the tiles to make it look nice and fresh. So this is how the tile looks like. Selling, shower, um, flooring is peel and stick 
flooring from B and Q. Again, I use also use spray Gorilla glue spray. And again, this has been done an hour and a half an hour a year and a half ago and it still looks perfect it didn't peel girls usually splash all the water off the floor and it's been amazing and it made the bathroom looks so much nicer so we'll close these and i think Tay is gonna join us upstairs next is the girls room and emilia is already there hey Amy. Excuse that, those are stuff that has to go to the charity shop. Hey, Mrs. You got a banana again. We're gonna have lunch soon. Mommy. Okay, so the girls' room, they've got a mini cute kind of wardrobe, but I DIY. Why. This is a side, board, side table, side chest of drawers, I don't know. And I put the rail in there so it will hold their clothes. They've got this uh, doll um, cream, but I got for free and it was handmade. And the lady gave it to me. She said that she doesn't have any grandchildren. You're showing off your teddy. So she was happy to give it to me and the girls play with it a lot. Then we have this cube kind of storage, which I love because I can just throw the clothes in. The girls have one each and um, it's easier because I do not iron the clothes or fold. I will only fold like the nicer clothes. They have a rug here from Ikea, a beautiful big window here. And the curtains came with the house because they are pink, they just stayed there. Toy basket, this one is from TK Maxx. Then they have two shelves in here. Next is their beds. Their beds are from Ikea and they are extendable. In fact, when we move and they will get the biggest bedroom in the house, uh, we will give it to the girls and we will extend the bed so it's bigger. And yeah, this is the girls' room. We had to redo the ceiling in here. It was in not a great condition when we moved in. Oh. So yeah, just paint. We did the flooring again. And this is how it looks like. Okay, so moving on, this is our so-called box room, which it fits a single bed, but I wouldn't call it like a big, it's not a big bedroom. And this is the room that I am working in. I'm filming in here as well. It's like my beauty room slash filming working office and I know it kind of looks like a mess so excuse that I am trying to sort out and declutter but I thought I'll film before I do have a video on like my beauty room makeover and yeah this is how it kind of looks like it's a small bedroom it does fit a single bed and I've got like a chest this is from a Bauhaus again this is great for makeup and it was quite cheap uh, a big uh, Ikea mirror, the curtains are from Ikea, I love the curtains, they're only £3.50 or £3. The curtain rod is from B&Q, again it's the cheapest one and I like the brass colour. And yeah, this is bedroom number two. We also have access to the attic, which is great, we put the... Um, um, extendable how do you call it? folding um, ladder so we could go in there and it holds all our stuff especially the christmas stuff that you know if you've seen my christmas videos i go wild and we've got lots of christmas decorations up there and uh, let's just go into our main bedroom okay so this is our main bedroom Um, again, <laughs> a mirror on the door, which is very handy. Then I did a video on like quick bedroom makeover, and we I put these shelves here. These are from B and M, and they, I think they're six ninety nine, pretty cheap because there is no space for having side tables. And I use this, and we hold our stuff on the phones. Then the lighting here is plug-in, this uh, is from 
I think eBay, my husband bought it. Then this beautiful print that I got from Mappyful. It has the map of Bruges is where we got engaged. I mean, my husband asked me to marry him. And we've got our bed. The bedding is from Primark and it is like brushed cotton. It's so cozy. It's 100% cotton and it's like reversible. You can see my husband switch the pillow on the other side for him. And this bed is not the best. Is very low to the ground. It is my husband bought it before I even moved in here, moved with him. So it's what came with us from the other house when we rented. And it's coming with us, but eventually we will buy a proper bed, bed but I want it higher up. Wardrobe, this is a wardrobe we got, I think eBay is simple, doesn't have any drawers. In fact, I just put some plastic drawers in here to hold my clothes. Uh, an Ikea draw and mirror this is my husband's office area and poor <laughs> he has to work from the bedroom but as soon as we move he has his own office too uh, again big bay window I love it so much um, it just makes the room so nice and you can see it's quite tight in here <laughs> and this is another reason why we are moving we needed a little bit more space too uh, the curtains are from b and m and i also mentioned it in the video where when we did the makeover that i don't like them much uh, when they are packed uh, you know like nicely folded they look so much better and i thought they were a little bit thicker but maybe they don't look too bad here like this I wouldn't buy them again and this will go in the girls room where we move and then eventually when I'm gonna uh, make over their bedroom I will get something else they don't look very nice um, yeah don't recommend these curtains and yeah this is the bedroom and this will conclude the house tour video for today. Um, excuse the mess and the house. I try to do my best to clean it up and try to fill the video with a clean house. But the girls are home and everywhere I tidy up, things just go everywhere, especially toys. And yeah, this is the life my life during school holidays when you watch this video we will be in the new house already and i will film a full house tour before renovation we are going to renovate ourselves as much as we can i love doing diys so stay tuned for that don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you get notified every time i upload a new video i'm kind of out of breath for some reason now and um, yeah this is our house tour and I can't wait to do another one when we move into our beautiful Edwardian house. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next one. I'll be with you.